Hey, what's up, everybody? We are farming here up in Diamond Shores over in the Icicle area. And I want to show you something that is very, very important, especially when you're AoE farming. And that's the power of the shield and the scepter. So we have a staff right here, and we have a scepter and shield. These are all tier 5 obsidian weapons that were given to us in the public test server for testing purposes. Uh, so we're going to go clip the... Uh, the staff right now to demonstrate you know staff has higher dps output greater damage dealing kill things faster but in the meantime we actually lost a lot of defense from the shield it's going to go ahead and pull about four here and you'll notice the reason why we're only going to pull about four is they'll actually hurt us. Right. So there we took around around 15%. Let's try and pull a little bit larger group here. So we pulled five there it looked like. Or maybe four, maybe one came back. We also do have buffs on right now. We have the 24% or 2400 magic defense, 2400 physical defense, decrease all physical damage. So we're pretty buffed out right now. So we're going to go ahead and pull a little bit more. So since that really didn't hurt us. Fortunately, there's nothing around us, so we're going to go ahead and kill them. But you'll notice that we're taking a lot of damage this time because we didn't start our combos. We're down to around 25% taken damage. I think that's because there was more time spent trying to lure them together. We didn't start our attack combos right away. So let's move over to an area that's a little bit more populated with monsters. This one looks just about right over here. So again, this is with the staff right here. So higher DPS, faster killing times. Alright, so we gathered around six or so. So six or so and right around probably 30 or 40 percent. So not too bad. If you are going to try and do say eight though, you will need a little bit more uh, more defense. Take a look here. We're going to try and pull eight this time, which is the max that you can pull at once. And you'll notice we'll probably come pretty close to actually dying this time. Let's kind of scout out the area here. It looks like we can get those guys there. We can take these ones up here. All right. So that should be eight. You know, it's exact same rotation. We're either pulled nine, or this one just didn't have enough damage, and we're around 75% HP. So again, we are super buffed out weapon-wise. If our weapon was weaker, we wouldn't kill them as fast. Now I'm going to go demonstrate the 
shield and staff. So we're going to swap over. We're going to get a little bit more defense here. Actually, quite a bit. We're going to get 1,280 extra defense. Uh, increased physical defense also by 587. So we're gaining 1,700 physical defense. And then we're lowering our DPS output by around 100 magic attack. We got to rebuff everything up. So again, we'll start off with simple, like pull four. See how much damage we take here, taking four. You see, we take a little bit less damage around probably a little bit less than like 10% or 10% there for taking four, but it took us a little bit longer to actually kill them, which means we already had to use an additional skill, which was additional mana there. So now we'll go and pull a little bit more, pull like five or six. So we got stunned there a little bit, taking a lot more extra damage. So the slower kill time is preventing us from killing them fast enough where the monsters are actually stunning us and interrupting and, and causing chaos on us. Well, let's see. We'll give another chance. See if that was just a fluke, or if the scepter and shield really isn't that good compared to a staff for AOE farming. Again, it also does matter on what mobs you pull as well. So some mobs will do AOE pulls, some mobs will do stuns, interrupts. So that was a four pull, and it was still roughly around 10% life. We're going to go pull a lot larger this time. So most of these monsters here, close to an eight pull. So right there, it looks like you can see a huge difference between a bigger pull with the shield and scepter combo. We pulled quite a bit and we only ended up taking around 30% damage, whereas when we did that with the staff, we took almost, almost 70%, 75% around there damage. So let's go try that again and see if we just got really lucky and we didn't get any interrupts or any stuns. Or if the 
shield and staff actually works a lot better in larger pools. I'm going to wait for the respawn just a second. And this may be something very relevant to you guys in the near future because you need these malevolent obsidians to craft your obsidian weapons. And they're very, very common here. They're almost insanely rare, impossible to find in the library itself. So you might be spending a lot of time out here looking for that malevolent obsidian so knowing how to effectively farm these type of monsters could be very, very beneficial to you. Alright, so I don't know how many this is. This probably is eight or more. Oops. So you'll notice that the monsters, they do very, very little damage. I even messed up with a delay of a skill. It also looks like we did pull a little bit more than 8. It looks like we pulled 9, which nerfed our damage output. As you can see, even there, we picked up 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, six jesters, which means we kill probably close to nine or ten monsters. So that honestly isn't bad either, right? They're doing that one minute pulls, getting six jesters, a couple obsidians. That would put you at really 360 jesters an hour by just constantly farming this. Again, it will be a little bit different because you are not going to have these tier 5 celestial status weapons. Again, we'll swap over. To the staff here. So you notice we're taking a lot more damage, like a tremendous amount of damage. So if you're going to only pull, say, like four or five mobs, a staff may be way better to use. But if you're going to pull groups of like six or seven mobs to try and pull eight mobs potentially, you're going to want to use, it looks like, shield and scepters. And then, of course, you are going to want to use the buffs. Physical defense buff, magic defense buff, unstoppable force buff. Any buffs that you can get to help yourself farm faster, which is just great. You can see you can pick up anywhere between like four to six jesters an hour. Or four to six jesters a minute doing this kind of farming. And you could even do it faster if you didn't want to wait for insulating lens, pop some potions. And you're also farming the malevolent obsidian stuff and some of the other materials that are needed for obsidian weapons. They're doing some kind of event right now. The GMs are on.
So again, down to like 50% there. It does look like that you are going to want to use the shield and scepter for pulling larger groups. It won't really make much of a difference if you're pulling three or four mobs, but if you're pulling, it looks like seven or eight, you're going to want to be using the shield and scepter to get that added extra defense. Of course, that all goes out the window if you're fighting magic-based mobs because they do magic attack. Go back with the shield and scepter. You can see a lot less damage there. So that about wraps it up. Uh, in my opinion, it looks like the Shield and Scepter is better for larger pools. For smaller, smaller pools, it looks like the Staff will end up being better, faster, more efficient, use less mana. Definitely let me know what you think on that. This is also a great spot to farm the Obsidian, the Haunted Obsidian. And then also the Malevolent Obsidian. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below.